பார்த்துக்கலாம் அந்த லெப்ட் அவுட் போர்ஷன் ஓகே ஸோ நவ் ப்ரௌஸ்டர் ஆங்கிள் ஓகே ப்ரௌஸ்டர் ஆங்கிள் ப்ரௌஸ்டர் ஆங்கிள் இட் இஸ் ஆங்கிள் ஆஃப் இன்சிடென்ட் அட் விச் தேர் இஸ் நோ ரிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் தட் மீன்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் தட் மீன்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஓகே கம்ப்ளீட் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஓகே வாட் இஸ் த மீனிங் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஒன் ஓகே சி வென் அவர் the angle of incidence is not 90 degree then it can be anything other than 90 degree but at a particular angle okay at a particular angle for a particular medium say medium 1 and medium 2 for a particular some angle other than 90 degree see there is no reflection at all whatever the signal that you are sending it is completely getting transmitted okay say even if that even if there is a change in the medium okay say for example if this is the medium 1 okay if the, this is the medium 1 and this is the medium 2 okay it is some angle at this angle if you if the if your signal is incident at this browser angle say theta b the signal is incidenting on the interface with the browser angle then there is no reflection at all whatever the signal that you are giving it is completely transmitted it is completely transmitted that particular angle is called browser angle okay it is the angle of incident at which there is no reflection only transmission is there complete transmission is there okay that angle is uh, uh, denoted as in, in mathematics as a tan theta b okay tan tan theta b okay where theta b denotes the browser angle that is equal to square square root of epsilon 2 divided by square root of epsilon 1 or otherwise this can be written as n2 divided by n1 okay very simply Okay, so tan theta b is equal to n2 divided by n1. Now, from this you can easily calculate what is uh, theta b browser angle. Okay, that is tan inverse of okay tan inverse of n2 divided by n1. Please remember, the Snell's law is related with the sine theta. The browser angle is related with the tan theta. Okay, you should have that understanding. Okay, what is the difference between the Snell's law and browser angle? Browser angle means you have to operate with the tan theta okay so next um, uh, we will see in a oblique incident in itself there are two variety one is uh, parallel polarization and another one is perpendicular polarization okay uh, in case of oblique incidence like incidence in case in case of oblique incidence there are two variety one is uh, parallel polarization okay parallel polarization another one is perpendicular polarization another one is perpendicular polarization okay in when you are dealing with oblique incidence definitely you are at some angle but what is the direction of the electric field with respect to the plane that you are operating with respect to the plane that you are operating so in case of parallel polarization okay in case of uh, parallel polarization your electric field is uh, parallel to the plane okay in case of perpendicular polarization the your electric field is perpendicular to the plane in case of parallel polarization okay your electric field okay your electric field is uh, will lie on the plane okay okay parallel to the plane in case of perpendicular polarization your electric field is perpendicular to the plane that you are operating okay in oblique incidence itself there are two varieties one is uh, for parallel polarization and another one is for perpendicular polarization okay suppose if it is a parallel polarization case 1 say case 1 uh, the parallel polarization okay parallel polarization and very clearly the electric field is uh, parallel to the plane that you are operating okay i am not going in detail just directly i will write the formula okay in those case you have to use um, the reflection coefficient this uh, two line indicating that uh, electric field is parallel okay parallel polarization these two lines vertical lines okay then you know what is eta 2 and cos theta t minus eta 1 cos theta i where theta t means transmitted angle theta i means incident angle and already you know what is eta 2 and eta 1 they are impedance of the medium intrinsic impedance of the medium okay then this is the formula of the reflection coefficient in case of 
parallel polarization that too in case of but oblique incidence okay so, or otherwise what is the transmission coefficient that is simply uh, 1 plus um, uh reflection coefficient 1 plus reflection coefficient okay so then uh, what is case 2 okay case 2 is a perpendicular polarization okay case 2 is a perpendicular polarization okay we are not going in detail for this one because um, in the exam mostly they will ask only normal incidence okay normal incidence generally they don't ask questions from oblique incidence that's why directly i'm writing okay so in case of oblique incidence what is the reflection coefficient okay that to the in a perpendicular polarization case okay theta 2 and cos theta i minus theta 1 cos theta t okay then eta 2 cos theta i then eta 1 cos theta t okay then uh, transmission coefficient is equal to 1 plus uh, reflection coefficient okay again you note down the similarity of formula uh, everything structure is same but uh, here theta t theta i is there that will getting reversed that is getting reversed theta i theta t like that that's it like that in the uh, denominator also it is happening okay so this is a simple way to remember mostly there will not be any questions from this topic very rarely you will get questions from this topic okay the next we will go for wave guides next we will go for wave guides okay next